Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle and a lot about personal finance and investments. Several videos ago, I shared with you my review of the new stock trading app called GoTrade. I'm sorry guys, I'm just not a fan of this app. I wasn't a fan because of a few several factors, but mostly because of the perceived complications when it comes to the withdrawal process and also the lack of dynamic features that made it pale in contrast to its competitors such as eToro. So it's been a few months now, I've actually been using the GoTrade app a little bit and thus I felt like revisiting that review. Don't worry guys, I think I'll be much kinder this time around. Why did I end up using GoTrade if I wasn't such a fan of it? Well for starters, when I tried to withdraw, I realized that some of the stocks that actually came free had a 60-day moratorium before I could withdraw them. So I ended up doubling down on my positions and just started investing more with the app, trying to see is it really worthwhile? And by the end of this video, let's see, will I end up recommending GoTrade this time around? Let's find out. So here's my GoTrade app. What are those features that I ended up liking this second time around? Number one would be the simplicity of language that GoTrade uses when describing a certain stock. For example, I own some stocks of NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is a microchip processor for GPUs or gaming computers. So instead of using my complicated description, GoTrade actually describes NVIDIA as robots are coming, enter the matrix, and games. So simple. So I feel like GoTrade has made it simple, making it easy for new stock investors to be investing through the GoTrade app with these tags and more consumer-friendly summaries of what a company or stock stands for. Moving on, for number two, why I've started appreciating the GoTrade app more would be the supporting documents that GoTrade actually gives you Case in point, check out this email from GoTrade telling me about the upcoming Microsoft stockholders meeting and telling me that I had a right to vote. I actually didn't know that I have a right to vote even if I don't even own one share because in GoTrade you can actually buy fractional shares. But with eToro, I never had that sort of follow through for me to be told that there is a stockholders meeting coming up. It made me feel like I was really buying into the company sometimes with these global online brokerages you feel like you're just buying CFDs or contract for difference. Even when you're not, you don't completely feel like you're buying the underlying asset. So with these things, it feels more legit. And I do appreciate that. I recently bought into Vanguard. I bought VOO, which is the ETF that is tracking the S&P 500. And I also bought the Vanguard Small Cap 600. After investing, I was surprised to get an email from GoTrade giving me more information about my recently invested ETFs. So they gave me a prospectus for the funds. I know I could have just Googled it, but it does help to get this prospectus from GoTrade through my email for them to really share with me what should I expect from the fund and how has it performed historically. Moving on to number three, I like that in the GoTrade app, there is a short summary of the stock called Market Stats. You can actually get a quick summary of the stock and the company. So if you're into fundamental investing and really assessing a stock as a business, the company's quick stats and stock performance are right here. The PE ratio, the dividend yield, the average volume that the stock trades, the earnings per share, and the one-year highs and lows. So just as Warren Buffett does, he pays attention to these fundamental stats, these figures, really seeing the stock as a business. And with GoTrade, you get to see that Alright, so those are the three main factors why I started really appreciating the GoTrade app. Okay guys, let's move on to the things that I still find quite negative about the GoTrade app. I don't intend to nitpick, but these are things that I feel like maybe could be improved. So number one, there's actually no breakdown of your investment if you took on a position at different price points. In eToro, you are able to see the position you entered in at what price at what date and what profit you've made, you would also see your returns or losses for that specific position for that certain date. Now with GoTrade, it isn't as linear and as easily viewable as this. Your position in a certain stock with your different entry points is actually cost average. What's shown to you right away would be just a summary but not the actual breakdown. If you wanted a breakdown of your investment and wanted to get out of a position based on a certain historical date, then it's a little harder to compute that for unless you wrote it down, unless you really compute for the numbers. It's not as handy, readily available as it would be in eToro and other online brokerages. 
So another thing that I find limiting, not necessarily negative, would be in determining the price points at which you want to buy or sell your position at a certain stop. So for GoTrade, you can't really define your entry point or exit point for that matter. When you buy their fractional shares, you actually have to buy it at the actual trading price at that very moment. So there's no such thing as a sort of alert that would let you buy when it hits a certain price or sell at a certain level. So again, this is an advantage that eToro would have over GoTrade in making your buy and exit positions more precise and at defined price points. Lastly, another thing that I find limiting about the GoTrade app would be again in relation to the withdrawal process. If you sold a certain stock and you wanted to withdraw it right away, the withdrawal process would actually take you a few days because to liquidate your position and to get it credited to your bank account, GoTrade actually says that it will take another two or three days. And this would greatly vary with what I've been used to with eToro, that when you exit a position, you can actually withdraw it right away. Well, of course, there's still that lead time between eToro and the bank, but in GoTrade, just the trigger itself from the exited position to the withdrawal actually takes some time already. So again, I find that a little limiting. So weighing the pros and cons, would I now recommend GoTrade? Well, stepping back and trying to really understand how GoTrade has designed its app, its processes, and its features, I think GoTrade has designed their app in such a way that you would really be in it more for the long term rather than short term investing, which is completely the opposite of what eToro and what most of the other online brokerages stand for. Looking at the features such as cost averaging and really showing you the stock from a business fundamental perspective, I think that's what GoTrade is really advocating. Again, with GoTrade, you can't really do short selling as well. You can't buy on leverage. GoTrade is intentionally veering you away from that and really trying to make you invest in the business long term. So would I recommend this app now? I would say yes, if you're new to investing, especially if you're working with a smaller budget. GoTrade is ahead by head and shoulders in terms of simplicity, but GoTrade is really guiding you for that slow, small amount investing that really would work out for you in the long-term future. So what do you think, guys? Have you used GoTrade and do you recommend it? Again, I initially didn't like it, but looking at it with fresh eyes and from a different perspective, I've ended up appreciating it for what it is. I know it's not for everyone, but I think it's for a lot of people, especially if you're new to the global stock investing game. If you haven't used GoTrade yet, you can use my referral code and link down below. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.